right hello all welcome back to the right gv ready automation world channel please subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed for more interesting topics right in future right i am preparing more interview questions on different companies and interesting topics right quickly right this is the continuation of the infosys interview question in previous session we have seen selenium questions what are the asked in infosys interviews right this is not a one interview two interview i have gathered uh, right uh, from the people multiple who are attended right uh, all the questions and i segregated important uh, interview questions uh, right there are basic uh, one are there maybe i remove those things only little bit whoever feels uh, right a little difficulty there challenges such type of questions i have got it is uh, for all uh, right uh, three to ten years uh, right uh, everyone can uh, get these questions right today session we will see java questions or java interview questions right what is the first question is what is the static block in java right a static block right we have seen static keyword right if you use the static keyword what will happen it will create memory only one time right similarly static block also in java it is a block right it is a block of code gets executed when the class is loading into the memory when you right click and run as right then class will load into memory at that time right this the static blocks will be initialized by the jvm so right? it is used to initialize static variable to perform operations if you want to initialize any static variables that right? you want to execute any code before executing the main method suppose that it will execute before the construct itself that it will execute before the construct itself because while loading the class itself it will execute right static blocks are executed before main method or any object creation right before object creation if you want to do anything then we will go for static blocks or to initialize the static variable then what are the concepts of object oriented program right we will know four pillars of the object oriented programming right encapsulation encapsulation means what wrapping up of data members and methods into a single unit is called encapsulation right we know in our uh, if we take in our selenium poja classes we will create a setter and getter method that is the encapsulation right we are wrapping the methods and uh, data members inside a class that is called encapsulation abstraction hiding the internal details showing only necessary details to the user right by using interfaces and abstraction we can get it abstraction right one more feature of the oops abstraction hiding the internal details right then one more is inheritance inheritance means acquiring the parent properties into child property right parent properties or methods into child if we have a common similar properties we will write in the parent class we will extend in the child class so that we can reduce the duplicate code maintenance will be very easy right we know it to right maintenance means whenever you want to change single place we will change we will right maintenance will be very easy right inheritance means acquiring the parent class properties and methods into child class right we have a single inheritance single level inheritance multi level inheritance right hybrid inheritance hierarchical inheritance right Mal multiple inheritance java will not support right because of diamond problem right polymorphism polymorphism is what the ability to process objects differently right same object will behave in different types in different situations right that is called polymorphism in polymorphism two types are there method of overloading overriding right overloading means what method name will be same but arguments will be different number of arguments type of arguments order of arguments will change overriding means overriding the parent class method into child class why we need to override child class is not able to suppose if you take a selenium click method parent class we have already written click method or enter text sometimes what will happen in child class sometimes specific element it will not work right instead of creating again right uh, with the new name we can override that we can change the body of it right i want a different implementation but action will be same only either enter text or click right then we can override we can right, right uh, 
change the implementation of the body. Right, what are the difference between collections, sets, maps? Right, uh, collections is a framework for handling group of objects. Set that also collection that uh, right collection that uh, does not allow duplicate element. Right, set will not allow duplicate element. Map is the to store the group of objects as a key value pairs. Group of objects as a key value. Under collection, what we will have? Under collection, we will have a right a hierarchy. Collection will have a list set queue. Right, a list set queue. We will have a child interfaces. Right, set will extend collection interface. Set set is the sub sub interface of the child interface of the collection. Right, it does not extend collection. Map is the separate hierarchy. Right, map is the right, we can remove the S rest collection set to map. Right, then does not uh, extend collection. This is the separate hierarchy. Map is collection is some people will confuse. Map will come under collection. No. Right, we will call it as a collection framework, but map is the separate root interface. Right, uh, duplicates. Right. Depends on the type. If list, if it is a type collection, is a type of list. It will allow set means it will not allow. Right, set will not allow duplicates. Map keys will not allow duplicates. Values can be duplicated. Order array list will maintain the order, but set will not maintain the order. There is entropy question. If you want to, I don't want to allow duplicates. I want to maintain the order. Right, then we will go for which one. Linked asset, right? Linked asset will not, uh, it will preserve the order and it will not allow the duplicates. Linked asset keys may or may not be ordered, right? Here, example list set queue. Here, hash set linked asset set means linked asset tree set map means hash map tree map linked hash map, right? Just a high level overview. What is the difference between method of overloading and overriding? Just we have seen in the Right, method of overloading means overloading the, I have a, suppose you have a scenario, same action you want to do, but arguments will be changed. Right, suppose if you take a selenium, I want to click, but uh, sometimes I want to click only passing web element, I want to pass by, by element, or sometimes I want to pass web element comma time also, or by comma time also. Right, you want to click based on the text, I want to pass the string. Right, these are all actions of click. Right, different arguments. Right, we can use in those cases. Right, we can use the click. Right, do, uh, sometimes we will tell you add method, but it's see that is a not a good example of it. Right, you can take in the selenium anything. You can take enter text or click or uh, right to drop down. Right, uh, you want to click on the drop down by value, drop down by uh, right. Index right uh, locked value. I have, we have we can tell we have created different methods, but arguments will be different. Method name will be same. That is called method of overloading. Right, overriding is what same thing. We can take it in the parent class. We have created all the reusable methods to handle the different actions. Right, click enter enter right click enter text or drop down values frames windows all those. In child class, sometimes what will happen? Right. If you are trying to use parent class method, sometimes it will not work. Suppose I want to enter text, same, but it will not work. Right, in those cases, maybe I want to use a different one. Click, not working. I need to use JavaScript click. Or sometimes actions class click. Right, we can change by overriding, we can change the implementation of the parent class method. Right, that is also we can tell example. Right, next question is what are the streams and lambda expressions right nowadays uh, everyone is uh, right, uh, using streams and lambda expressions we are definitely we will get uh, one question one or two questions on it right java streams introduced in java 8 if you want to follow the functional programming approach right in c c plus plus we will have this functional approach right the functional programming approach if you want to follow Right, from Java 8 onwards, streams and lambda expressions are introduced. Right, we can use what are the features of declarative style of it. Let's right, suppose I have a one map. Right, or any list or array, anything. 
if suppose error is there i want to sort it i want to filter right divided by 2 or right i or i have a map i want to right get all the keys based on some condition right then declarative style of programming we can use a filter map reduce there are method filter map reduce right supports parallelism right we can also execute parallelly does not modify original data structure it right, does not modify original data suppose here a real list is see suppose a real list right here the condition is uh, i want to print uh, numbers which are divided by two which are divided by two right we can use simple thing we can re write a loop concept percentile by two equal to equal to zero then print it simple there also but here single line of code also we can but numbers dot stream that means it will create a one stream object uh, pointing to the array list and we can use the filter method filter method what it will do we have to write the some condition in the filter right in lambda expression we have to give n percentile to equal to equal to zero then for each right print it in single line of code we can do it right this is a simple example lambda expressions is a concise way to represent the anonymous functions right here we have to write the syntax is square bracket parameter lambda expression expression let's suppose some syntax if we see right example if we want to do a plus b right then parameters what are the two arguments a b if you don't have argument leave it empty that's it if you want to print only system dot out dot print means right just brackets lambda expression system dot out dot metal if we have a parameters int a comma b right we here how we will write uh, suppose public void add and int of arguments open curly close inside body we will write system dot out dot print and a plus b right that is the shortcut right this is the shortcut of uh, will concise expression of by using lambda expression we can decrease all that code a comma b lambda expression a plus b simple that we have to practice right lambda expression i will uh, right, take uh, detailed uh, java classes on that explain the exception hierarchy this is one more important question definitely we can expect one or two questions on the exception handling right uh, what is the exception handling first of all what is the exception handling exception handling by using the exception handling we can control the right uh, we can control the programming execution right suddenly if program is uh, right uh, terminated right without giving any proper information right we don't know why it is uh, failed and it will take uh, some time to analyze by using this exception what we can do right we can handle the exception we can print some proper messages based on the exception we can print some proper messages user can understand easily right <coughs> right what is the hierarchy throwable is the root root class of uh, all the root class for the all the exception then under that we have two types of exception runtime exceptions errors exceptions and errors exceptions and errors errors we cannot handle in the program right suppose out of memory other right suddenly memory was full our program obviously terminated we cannot do anything right we have to delete everything we have to rerun it that's it mm -hmm. exceptions can be handled Right, exceptions can be recovered. Types of exceptions were uh, what checked and unchecked exceptions. What are checked exceptions? IO exception, SQL exception. While writing the code itself, we have to handle the checked exception. But an unchecked exception, these will come at runtime because of coding issue or data issue. Right? Suppose if divided by zero, arithmetic exception. If you are if you are getting the index out of bounds so you are reading suppose length is 5 you are reading sixth character we will get a right, uh, index out of bounds exception right these are the right, probably the root interface under that we have exception and error right then the, under exception we will have a checked and unchecked exceptions unchecked exceptions are called runtime exception right then uh, what is the difference between comparable comparator comparable comparator these are all used to comparable comparator 
to sort the right to sort the classes right usually right if you want to sort the array right we have a arrays dot arrays class is there sort method will be there right if you want to sort the collections we have a collections dot sort right, already we have predefined classes and suppose i want to sort the employee i have a employee list of employee objects right a list of employee objects right i want to list of employee object i want to sort based on the id or employee salary employee name i want to sort how we will achieve right if we keep in the directly in the set employee object it will not sort right it will not sort only it will sort object right which are overridden so there are some methods equal and right hash code methods right based on that only it will right that is a deep concept equals and hash code it will override right wrapper classes right our integer right if you take a string these are all already over overridden in the those methods equal and hash code so collection dots are start a list of string or array of string uh, string array if you pass it will sort automatically because already overridden but an employee object student object are our, our own classes right it don't have hash code and equal method overridden right if we want to sort user defined object one thing we have to override those things and then we have to by using comparable comparator comparable comparator there are two interfaces by using this we can sort these right user defined classes right use it to define natural order for the comparable is used to define a natural sorting order comparator we will use custom sorting logic custom sorting logic here we have a compare to method which will take a one one parameter here compare method is there sometimes interview they will ask what is comparable comparator right you can tell high level maybe if you not uh, don't know just to tell high level these are used to sort the user defined objects comparable you have compare to method comparator compare method which will take two objects right implemented in the class to be compared okay implemented in a separate class comparable we have to implement in the same class only but comparator we can implement in different classes also modifies the class itself keep the original class unmodified sorting by default order alphabetically sorting by specified field right uh, we'll explain more on this also it right, with examples right how does the hash table differ from a hash set right hash table is a it is like a map right uh, under map it is one of the class implemented class hash table means it will store the key value the hash set is a set interface child class it will store only unique elements this is map interface set interface keys cannot be duplicated but values can hash set does not allow duplicate this is the thread safe hash table is thread safe hash set is not thread safe used when key value pair is required used only when elements elements are needed unique elements are needed syntax is hash table in key comma value and hash set right these are the different uh, right java questions uh, right asked in the infosys interview right <coughs> Just if you like my way of teaching and content presentation, just subscribe to the channel. Please comment it out if you need any more details on any question or any topic. Right, I will explain those things. Right, uh, thanks for watching.